Hello, welcome to the Scale Model Club. On this week's show, we're on the high seas again with the construction of the Ark Royal. You don't have to keep doing that. Great. Hello, welcome to the Scale Model Club. Uh, so we're going to build and paint the Ark Royal today. Uh, I've started with the lifeboats first. They're all painted light sea grey in the bottom. A wooden deck tan across the deck and white in the cabins. There you go. Uh, I'm going to paint all those separately because they fit inside the little tiny deck pieces that you then glue on to the side of the ship. I'm going to... They do say you should put them on before you put the hole together, but I decided I'd be able to fit them in uh, because the hole looks very difficult and, and doesn't fit together very well. So I thought we'll attack that first. <clears throat> in my other one of my other videos, I think the HUD video, the hood, sorry, HMS hood video, someone mentioned that tape is quite good for holding holes together. Now, because this one doesn't fit together very nicely, I thought I'll put it together first hold it together with some tape and then I'll glue it after that. Uh, the kit was made in 1966 so there was a lot of flash, a lot of bendy pieces of uh, plastic and a lot of pieces that weren't quite moulded properly. I've got to apologise for my voice and the odd cough. Uh, I've got a bit of a cold. Don't panic. Not It's not Corona. I've just got a stuffed up nose. It is the winter after all. So that's it. So make sure everything lines up properly. Hold it together. Put a base of tape on it. And then glue it all together and let it set. It's uh, quite surprising how big the uh, aircraft carrier is compared to HMS Hood when you put them both the same scale, 1 to 600. Uh, when you put them both next to each other, you realise how big an aircraft carrier is. But I'm having a lot of fun building it even though it is a bit uh, a bit old and a bit warped. Hope everybody's found the new channel um, after the move. Uh, make sure you all like and subscribe. It all helps. It means a lot to me that you're watching it. Uh, and if you do want to see a particular model or a particular uh, modeling technique just let me know in the comments I do get round to reading them I've been a bit slow recently because we've had a few changes with computers but apart from that it's all good I'll leave this all in real time because I think it was worth seeing how long it actually took me to get this thing put together how I wanted it put together and it also still left an awful lot of gaps and I didn't quite get the back end where I wanted it is it the back end or the front end let me just have a quick but it's the back end so that's exactly where I want it all So I thought I'll just run the extra. I think actually, if I did another one, I would maybe use the Rebel Contactor because it's a little bit thicker. This worked fine, it's just there was quite a big gap to get it all down. Uh, the instructions actually call for you to put the inside parts inside the hole first. Um, I decided to do it this way round because the hole looks like it needed to be put together and left to dry so I thought I'll put it together I'll fill it all up I'll leave it to dry and then I'll paint and fit all the lifeboats to the sides of it afterwards I did check you could fit them in after a little bit fiddly but I would rather have fitted them in rather than trying to squeeze this together with them fitted in so it all worked out nicely in the end
I know these are the smaller scale ships, the one to 600s. I'm not sure if anybody else does one, but after doing a couple of these, I would like to attack a one to 350 scale one. <coughs> Pardon me. So uh, that might be the next thing coming up. Well, the next boat anyway. Try and mix the channel up a little bit so I don't want to do another boat again. Uh, but what I'm going to do with this is this is actually building the hull, the flight deck, the superstructure. Um, I will weather it all and uh, seal it all in with some varnishes in the next video. And the last video will be the tiny little aircraft all on their own. My only one criticism of the kit is there is no decals for the aircraft, which I think they could have done with at least a round hole to stick on top of the wings. But I might see if I can paint them on. That might be a stretch too far. Somebody did ask me a question about putting the rigging on the tiny little biplanes, but that might just send them into a, into oblivion. So we'll see. I'll do a little video all on the little planes themselves because I think they deserve one. also found out after doing this that I don't actually have big enough clamps and pegs for one of these. So there we are, the hull. Next thing is just to cover it in some filler. So there's the hull. I put all the filler along the inside and gave the outside a bit of sand. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this, uh, or I'm going to undercoat it actually, the Vallejo undercoat, which is a ghost grey. There you go, it's actually a primer. But the actual colour is a US ghost grey, but I thought it's a nice colour, so I thought I'll just, I'm going to put two coats of this on to give it the light grey colour. And these are the sides of the ship that you can see through the little holes in the side of the ship, like the, a view into the flight deck and some of the decks where they put the lifeboats. So I'll paint everything this grey colour, prime everything twice. Then if I need to put another colour over the top, it's already primed. And I liked this colour particularly for the boat. Uh, having a look at a couple of pictures, obviously I've got to do the red at the bottom, the little black line. Uh, and I've also got to then above the black line, there's a slightly darker grey line. Now I don't know what it is, whether it's like a uh, armoured belt that they fitted. Uh, it's only on certain shades of photographs, so it's quite difficult to get decent photographs of it because it's quite old. Um, but it looked nice because I think the more colour greys I can get together, the more depth it gives the model. Because, uh, like, so on the floors, and you see those cabins, the floors I'm going to do the light sea grey from Samia, and it's slightly darker so it gives a, a more 3D effect when you look at the side of the model. Like I said, I'm going to paint everything that colour, which is what I did. And then the floors, I painted a dark, slightly darker grey. And this is just sticking the lifeboats onto the lifeboat decks. Um, as I found, 
the holes weren't big enough. Um, nothing really fitted properly. So I ended up cutting all the locators off and just sticking them into place. But it worked quite nicely. Uh, they actually call for all of these lifeboats to be painted in the same colour grey, but I just think it adds a little bit to the model if you paint them in the way I've painted them. I don't even know if the way I've painted them is the correct lifeboat launch colours, but they look quite good to me. Uh, once they are painted in that grey, white and the ta deck tan, I then just run some black uh, wash over the top just to pick out all the uh, nooks and crannies, make them look a little, stand them out a little bit more 3D. And that is a water wash uh, from Army Painter. It's the dark shade Army Painted Acrylic Wash. Uh, I'm going to run that around the floors and the walls just to give everything a little bit of a grubby look. Uh, give it a few minutes to go a little dry. Don't let it dry right off. It dries quite quick, the acrylic stuff. Uh, and then I'm just going to wipe over it with a cotton bud just to leave, wipe all the flat surfaces clean, leaving the wash in all the corners. I did the same sort of thing with the superstructure, but I forgot to film that. I do apologise. I was, I was so eager to get it done, I rushed ahead one evening and forgot to push the record button. So yeah, that's exactly the same in there. I've got the, uh, the, the black in there. So you can, it highlights all the stairs, the doors, all little bits and pieces. And that piece sticks onto the inside of the hull so that you can see it through the holes in the outside of the hull. They're the bits that they want you to put on first, but I just found it easier to get the hull together. and painted because obviously it's quite a big part of the model so do not get paint everywhere Do I know what it is? It's Scarlet took it up and you put it on your bed. <coughs> so, but they are very small, so I, I hope you can see down what they come out like. They did come out quite nice. And superstructure. So just cut the pieces off the screw, give them a bit of sand, cut off all the... Uh, excess flash because like I said there was quite a lot uh, but it still all fitted together nicely it's still a, I still enjoy it it's still a great model to do painted it in the ghost grey same as the rest of it this is a 1 point, uh, 0.2 needle in my airbrush uh, which is a harder and Steenbeck Ultra running at about two psi something like that might be a bit lower i fiddle about with it uh, and after i did that i then gave it a uh, clear coat uh, to give it a shine and then i gave it a coat in the same wash as i used everywhere else which was the army painter dark wash and then streaked it all down so it looked like uh, soot from the engines, uh, exhausts from the aircraft that had all run down with the weather that you get out at sea. Now the flight deck, uh, the flight deck's colour 
is mixed by me. Uh, I, one, I didn't have the colour. The colour was 117, which is a greeny colour from Humbrol. Um, I didn't, I couldn't find an equivalent. So I looked at the picture. I've got that's NATO green, 50-50 with some yellow. And it lightened it up just nicely. And I painted the whole thing in that colour, gave it a few minutes and then painted another coat, give it two coats. Because uh, I also watered the paint down 50-50 with some thinners, so. But the colour was nice. It looks, it looks very dark here, but once you actually get that on top of the aircraft carrier with all the grey that's around it, it looks quite good. So there we are, so you can see where it's just a bit. You're always better to have a bit of a patchy coat the first time round, then put your second coat on, that'll cover up all the patches and you'll get a nice flat finish. I'll leave this in real time as well almost because it, it took me so long to get this to fit because it everything was warped. As you can see the little stanchions that stick out the side, not quite sure what they're for. I think they hold a net to stop planes falling off. Uh, they weren't quite moulded properly in the kit so they haven't got the hook on the end. I'm perfectly happy with it as, as it is, so I'm not going to try and manufacture a hook or a new part. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I might put some rigging around it to make it look like there should be rigging. Uh, you could actually set those in the up or down position. I put them in the down position so you could see more of the deck. And because it didn't fit so well, what I ended up doing is fitting the front, holding that down, letting it go off and then doing another couple of inches up, holding it down, letting it go off. And by the end I got to the end, it was stuck down to the body nicely. But it took a lot of patience and a lot of mucking around. But once it's down, it looked quite nice. And like I said, the next job of it all would be to clear coat all of that and then run some washes all over it to make it look a bit grubby and a bit running get the superstructure put in the middle and i've got to paint the lifts haven't really decided whether to have because you do get some folded wings aircraft so i might put one on the ramp to make it look like it's coming up in the lift and a bit of both just to show all the things you can do with the model i think But thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave comments if you want. Helps my channel out loads. Uh, and because I moved, so I want to try and grab some of you guys back that subscribe to the uh, Conversation Shed Scale Model Club and now just subscribing to the Scale Model Club. Because everyone loves gardening, really. It's just not as much fun as building spitfires. But I must admit, it's, this is a great model. For a model that is as old as it is, to have the detail it has on it. I think it looks great. I am considering putting it in a little diorama with the hood as well. After all, it was a swordfish from the Ark Royal that jammed the rudder of the Bismarck, so it'd be nice to get them sailing together. Maybe find a little destroyer to go in between the two. So as you can see, a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of glue, a lot of holding. It's good old fashioned modeling.
Right, so I'm going to leave you with my precious self, desperately trying to get flight deck stuck to the rest of it. And thank you all very much for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, push that notification bell, and hopefully next week my voice will be back to normal. Laters, everybody.